Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to be doing a simplified version of Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Okay, so I'll start with the intro. Um, here in the intro we have four and a half rounds of E minor, I'll explain what I mean by the half in a second. Two of A minor, one C, one D, and two more of E minor. Now this is all done with a picking pattern which is six picks in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when we're doing the E minor, we don't actually need these two fingers if we don't want to use them, but I'm going to put them there anyway for form's sake. So we're picking the E string, then the G string with our index finger, B string with our middle finger, and the bottom E string with our ring finger. Then we just come back up and hit that B string again, middle finger, and the G string again. Sorry, G string, index finger. So it'll go thumb on top E, index on G, middle finger on B, ring finger on E, middle finger on B, index finger on G, like that. So it'll go <clears throat> thumb on E, index on G, middle on B, ring finger on E, then middle on B again, index on G again, like that. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one count of six picks, one, two, three, four, five, six, that constitutes one run through. So here we have four and a half. So the half is just the first three of those six. That means we're picking the top string with our thumb, then we're hitting the G string, and then the B string with our index and middle fingers. Like that. Um, so four and a half will sound like this. Here's one, two, three, Six, then two, two, three, four, five, six, then three, two, three, four, five, six, then four, two, three. And here comes our half now. We just go E, G, B, like that. After those three, E, G, B, we're going to change to the A minor. Okay, so the A minor picking is exactly the same, except we're shifting our thumb onto the A string. So the index is still on G, middle is still on B. Ring finger is still on your bottom E string. And we're going to do that twice. So that'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four, five, six. All right. The C chord is next. We just do one run through the C chord. And that's exactly the same as the A minor. We've still got our thumb on the A string. So. That sounds. Then when we do the D, we shift our thumb again onto the D string. Bottom three fingers still stay on the bottom three strings. Then we're picking D, G, B, E, D, G, like that. And finally we go back to playing the two E minors. So that's all six picks. Cool, so I'll run through that again. Uh, we've got four and a half E minors, so one, two, three, four, and here comes the half, which is just E, G, B, then A minor, which we play through twice, then we play the C just once, the D once, and then that E minor twice. Okay, so that's the first half of the intro. I'm going to play that through nice and slow, so you've got something to play along to. I'll count six before we come in. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One 
say one day and two of the evening. Cool. So that's the first half of the intro. Uh, feel free to rewind that part and practice it until you're comfortable with it. I'm just going to go on to the second part of the intro. Okay, so the second part of the intro sounds like this. Okay, um, now eagle-eyed Metallica fans will note that actually this is played with bar chords up here. Etc. Uh, we're just doing a simplified version for now and then we get our bar chords sounding nice and flash. Okay, so two things about this. There's a different picking pattern from the first half, which we'll get into, and there's a new chord, B7. So I'll show you that B7 first. We take our middle finger, we put it on the second fret on the A string. Index finger goes on the 1st fret on the D string, ring finger goes on the 2nd fret on the G string, and we tuck our little finger on the 2nd fret on the bottom E string like that. There's our B7. Okay, so just practice changing from your B7 round to the other chords in the song. You'll see your A minor, your B7, G, D, minor, until you feel happy with it. Um, and then we can have a look at the second part of the intro. So, we have a picking pattern here on the E minor, which goes... Okay, that involves putting your thumb on the top string, hitting that top E string, and then we're hitting the D string next, with the thumb as well. So it goes thumb, thumb, like that. Okay, our bottom three fingers are on the bottom three strings again, so we've got index on G, middle on B, and ring finger on E, and after that thumb on E string, thumb on D string, we pick the G string with our index all by itself, and we pick the bottom two strings with those two fingers. So we'll have thumb, thumb, index, bottom two like that. And those strings are E, D, G, B and E simultaneously. Okay, so there's a bit of a wait after that first E, and then the other ones just follow. So thumb, thumb, index, bottom two, like that. That's your E minor, okay? The D is the same, but shorter. Okay, so we are moving our thumb to the D string, and we're just going D string with our thumb, G string with our index finger, and bottom two with our middle and ring fingers, like that. So we're going... Okay, so after that E minor, thumb, thumb, index, and two, then we do the D, thumb, index, two, and the C is exactly the same, except that we are putting our thumb on the A string. So we go thumb, index, two, index is still on the G string, bottom two are still on the B and E strings, only the thumb is moved to that A string. Okay, so those three chords in succession will be E minor, thumb, thumb, index, and two. D, thumb, index 2, and C, thumb, index 2, like that. Okay, so that goes through three times, sounding like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the G is the same picking pattern again, except that we are using our thumb on the top string, the top E string, so it goes thumb, index, two together, and it's thumb on E string, index on G, and middle of ring fingers on B and E. Okay, and there's your B7 there, so we're hitting the A string on the B7. And then bottom two strings together like that. So we go thumb, index, bottom two, same deal. Um, and finally we just strum on the E minor. 
So then final round goes G, thumb, index 2, B7, thumb, index 2, and E minor, just as strong. Okay, so the whole thing will go E minor, D, C, E minor. Okay, so I'll count to six nice and slow and we can run through that. One, two, three, four, five, six, one up. And the D. That wasn't fantastic. E minor again, here we go. Try that D. time so I can improve on that D chord. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. through uh, until you're satisfied you can do it nice and smoothly you can move on to the verse okay so the verse is strumming we'll do the strumming pattern first it's nice and simple I'll use an E minor for the example and we're going to go down up down now that's the whole strum a long down then an up down up now if you keep doing it it sort of works itself into a circle so it'll sound like down For our verse is E minor twice, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, D once, down, up, down, up, C once, down, up, down, up. We do that whole sequence three times. Okay, so that means E minor DC, E minor DC, E minor DC. Then we do the G just once, down, up, down, up, B7 just once, down, up, down, up, E minor twice, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Cool. So a whole verse sequence should sound like this. Two E minors. Down, up, down, up, down. Then one D. This is the second time through, E minor is then one D, and one C is the third time through, E minor, twice, one D, one C, here comes our G just once, B7 just once, and two E minors. Cool. So you will see here that we have a parenthesis informing us we're doing this whole thing through twice. So that's what makes up a whole verse. A whole verse is these three chords repeated three times, then G, B7, E minor, right back to the top and the whole thing again, twice through makes a verse. So I'm going to count to six and then I'm just going to play the verse through twice in full uh, for you to practice along to. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. through that until you're happy with it uh, and we will move on to learning the chord.
chorus. So we can move on to the chorus now. The chorus has the same strum as the verse, it just has different chords. Okay, so our chords are C, A, and D. Watch that A, it's not the A minor from before, it's an A major now. Okay, so we're doing C, A, D twice. That whole thing happens through twice. So we go C, A, and two Ds, C, A, and two Ds. Then we do C, A, and just one D. Okay, then we revert to the picking from the very start of the song, which was thumb on the E string, index on G, middle finger on B, ring finger on your bottom E. So we go E, G, B, E, B, e, G. Okay, so that picking we do twice. Okay, so the whole thing will sound like this, C once, A once, and D twice, this is two. Okay, then we go C again, A, and D twice. Okay, then we do one of each, C, A, D, and picking the E minor. Oh, and that's the whole chorus. After that chorus, we're going back to the verse again. Uh, so just to recap, one of the C, one A, two Ds, that happens twice, so again, one C, one A, two Ds, there's two, and this time one C, one A, and one D, there's one D, and then picking on the E minor. Cool. Okay, so I'm just going to play that through on the count of six, nice and slow, so you've got something to practice too. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we now have all of the component bits of the song. We've got the intro in two parts. We've got the verse with the strumming and we've got the chorus with the strumming, ending in the picking there. Uh, practice all of those bits up and uh, next time we'll look at putting them all together into a song. Uh, until then, happy strumming and I'll see you later.